Hi, I'm Dr. Luann Brizendine, and I am going to be talking with you today about the female brain and why life gets better for women with each passing decade is what I'm going to be talking about today. And for decades and decades, I've been doing research in the female brain and in women's health. Um, I um, practice at the Women's Mood and Hormone Clinic, which I founded 25 years ago, and my research is mostly on how the hormones affect the female brain. I talk about a lot of this in my new book called The Upgrade, how the female brain gets stronger and better from midlife and beyond. So you can read a lot about the details of this here and how you how I talk a lot about my own transition and how that went for me and lots of other stories of women from my clinic. And um, I wanna share with you some of the things that I know about the better part of our life that's going to come actually after 30, 40, 50 and beyond. By the time we hit our 30s, the good news is we've hit this wonderful phase of being in a very kind of homeostatic, balanced, stable, week by week, day by day, as our hormones are in a rhythm that we've gotten used to. And they're individual, of course, for all of us. They're not the same, but we've gotten used to them. And basically we can predict what we're gonna be like from day to day and week to week. And if you're planning on getting pregnant, you know, you, you're gonna know what time of the month you can do that because your hormones are more predictable. So that's the great news about the hormones in your 30s. Okay, let's go to the decade of the 40s. The 40s is a different kettle of fish altogether because for many women, at the, about the age, somewhere between the ages of 36 and 42, the egg follicles in our ovaries start to decrease in number. And so there's not as many of them there to make as much estrogen. The pituitary is the gland that tells all of the other hormone glands in our bodies what to do, how much to make, when to kind of let off the gas. So when the ovaries start to make less and less estrogen in our 40s, the pituitary starts to scream at the ovaries like it was an instrument in, a, in an orchestra that's not playing loudly enough and wants it to play louder and louder. So the ovary tries to respond and sometimes it will squirt out an extra high doses of estrogen. So in our 40s, sometimes our estrogen can get higher on some days, sometimes lower and it be just much more erratic, like up and down the steep slopes of a mountain. So that's why things can get a little bit rock and roll in our 40s. Now, the good news is once we're gonna go into the decade of the 50s, that is when the ovaries have finished their supply of follicles, of egg follicles. So there's no more estrogen coming out at all. The pituitary has kind of calmed down and stopped screaming at the ovary, knowing that it is going, the, the ovary's follicles are out and having to go into a new phase of life, which is much, much less stressful, much calmer, and um, able to focus more and be more direct. And also something that's very little known is that each decade of life, all the research shows that we get happier and happier. So it's called the positivity effect. And there's no really known reason for why this is, but it's really nice to know that it's something to look forward to, that with each decade of life and they've, that they've looked at way up into the 90s, that you get happier and happier each decade of life. The 60s, your hormones will have smoothed out again very nicely. You'll know what is predictable for you, whether you're on hormone replacement or whether you're just on, on nothing at all. You will know day to day what you're going to feel like, and that is going to help you be your best, not be in any um, state of having the that highs and lows of the rock and roll of the what I call the transition period, what's well known as being called also the perimenopause. But I like to refer to it as a transition because you're transitioning into the upgrade, which is um, the uh, part of life when you get to be coming back more to your authentic self and your hormones aren't gonna be driving you so much. 
So at any rate, I hope this information has made you all feel a lot more positive about getting older and has given you the aspiration to, um, to seize the day and make the upgrade work for you. Thank you for watching and you know, I hope that you will, your brain and you will have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your life. Thank you.